we've been implementing ICCM uh, since uh, December 2013 and uh, the whole process started uh, with the training of uh, CHWs, a total of 58 CHWs from the intervention site. The research uh, is, is an operational research with four control community units and four intervention community units. When the ICCM was introduced, we mapped out the commodity situation in the whole sub-county to find out if we had enough commodities, let the community health workers go and start rolling out ICCM in the community level. We trained a total of 58 CHWs from the implementation CUs. We had a series of mentorships until we were sure they are ready for the rollout of managing cases at the community level. To be sure that they were ready, the CHWs were subjected to competency tests. Right now, we've been trained on ICCM and we are now capable of treating children at home. We are treating the under five children. We are managing the diarrhea and mal malarial cases. On the management, we only deal with the fever less than seven days and uh, diarrhea less than 14 days. In our bag, we carry the medicines, the AL1, AL2, and uh, we also do rapid diagnosis tests. We have got the kits for the rapid diagnosis test. If we get a child with a danger sign, we refer. We may get a child with fever and the child, the results returns negative. That one also we refer back to the facility. Oh, on the ICCM, I also give them their supplies. That's the, the commodities they are using because they are treating minor ailments like malaria, which is not severe. They also refer children which they get with the malnutrition, that's yellow on moak strap. They also treat with diarrhea with zinc and ORS. Those are the commodities I do give them at the facility when they come. This MH100, the CWs, gives us the details of the client, why the client is being referred, where the client has been referred from, and the main reason why the client was being referred. And the treatment or the pre trial treatment already he or she has already given. I am it goes in the roots of IMCI, whereby you manage as in a simple way of IMCI through committee group. Each and every CHW has a top-up card. When she comes back in the course of the week or after two weeks or in a month, I look at what she had last time. I write it in the top-up card form, balancing so that I may not give them more drugs than what they don't require. The ICCM generally, when we look at it, it is a good concept. It's a concept which, when done well, is going to reduce the disease burden, especially malaria and maybe diarrhea. We've really achieved much in early detection of childhood illnesses. The CWs are doing prompt testing and prompt treatment and prompt referrals, which used not to be there before. I am uh, our future plan, I think, with the support of the government, maybe the county government, is to make available the commodities so that the CHWs cannot be interrupted. I'm ha very happy with actually the initiative of the government of introducing ICCM in the country. We find that actually very many children die in the community, but then the accessibility to the health facilities become very difficult because some of them are very far away uh, from the household. Mm -hmm.